when I looked at the new 4K transfer, I was quite amazed at how well the film held up. And I wonder what kind of film stocks you guys used back then. Because the millimeter, Eastman Kodak or Fuji, I believe it was Fuji because I was in Asia. And Mary, were you surprised when you saw the, the new 4K transfer? Because I guess you see it in the cinema and then see it on VHS for many years, then DVD, and then it's like, boom, 4K, and they've done a pretty good job of cleaning up the movie, and especially the fight scenes look like they were shot like yesterday. It's almost like a timeless yeah. <laughs> timeless movie in a weird way. Well, it it is because uh, it was lit that way. It was lit to be captured with three Panavision cameras wide, three kind of Panavision cameras tight, close-ups on each each of the fighters handheld on the on the mat and then it's the highlights in slow motion i averaged 73 setups a day and had a high of 93 wow that week of shooting the kuma tape i mean that must be some kind of records surely that record stood until i did true vengeance with daniel bernhardt and daniel broke it twice <laughs> 